Wayne Edwards hasn't heard the old adage, never work with children or animals. The teacher, author and artist spends a lot of his time coaxing Tasmanian wildlife to leave a mark on his paintings. To find out why, Kylie Rollins joined him on a late night excursion. As the moon rises on a frosty evening in Devonport, Wayne Edwards' work begins. The artist's pieces are not produced at a studio easel, but out in the bush, where he spends many a chilly night collecting animal tracks. I'm a traditional artist and I've spent time out in the bush because I enjoy being in, that, in the wilderness, because in a way that's kind of my church. And I was doing all the usual paintings that one does, you know, the landscape, the pretty landscapes and, and abstraction and so on. And then I thought, why not get the animals that are there that I enjoy, get involved with the creative process. It's a far from simple process involving a fair amount of planning. Mr Edwards first does a reconnaissance mission to find the right location for the animals he's after. He also has to carefully choose the canvas. With a devil, for example, you can have a canvas that's quite thick and when they start feeding, they don't care what's around and they'll jump on anything. But some other animals are very cautious about what they might step on. If it's black, they might think that's a hole. If it's uh, white, it just scares them. So you've got pick the right sort of covering to suit them. Next, Mr Edwards lays either a blank canvas or an unfinished painting and surrounds it with pads containing non-toxic ink. Tonight, he's looking for Tasmanian devils and uses meat to lure them to the canvas. Often this is the beginning of a restless night as he lies in wait for the animals to appear. And you have to stay awake or not because you get a print and if it's just right, you want to quickly roll it up and if it isn't you might have to move it around to another place. So you're in a cold windy place and often you're up all night. And it might get ruined in the very end. Some animal might decide to come along and go, oh there's a nice toilet place and it happens to be my painting. Other times he leaves the canvas unattended and returns in the morning for a surprise. Last night's efforts have been fruitful. That's fantastic. That's really good. I'm very very pleased with that. That's a great result. What have you got here? Well, we've got a number of devils that have come from up at the ridge, come down through here and walked around. They've spent a bit of time here. There could have been even two. And then they, they slipped down and going by the tracks, they've come back up again. We can see by these ones where they've clawed their way up. It's gone, picked up a little, little bit of yellow that was here and come up to get the rest of the meat. All the meat's gone. And then they've come back here and slipped down on that canvas there. That's a really good result. I can hopefully do a really nice painting with that one. Once Mr Edwards has a good set of prints, he finishes the painting using vegetation from the surrounding area and colours to reflect the environment. I just used some uh, pretty basic spray cans and this is where the whole painting could become ruined. So hold my breath and just hope it works. I hope some paint comes out. Here we go. Generally you only get one crack at this. If you get it wrong, it's disaster. The trusting artist it's even allowed some input button. from an artistically challenged reporter. Give another one, another one. That's it, that's there fantastic. Let's have a look. Oh, Beautiful. There we go. That's great. Well done. Mr Edwards' inspiration is his love of the bush. I'd like people to experience as much as possible my experience in the bush, which is peace, serenity, and also that there are animals out there and they have a place in the environment. And I'd like to turn attention to their conservation because I think their, um, their preservation is really important to us and the heritage of our children and grandchildren. whether the animals are actually the artists. Mr Edwards says that's like arguing a paintbrush does a painting or a camera decides what to photograph. The animals do get something back for their participation. A portion of Mr Edwards' profits will go to causes like animal rescue shelters and research into the devil facial tumour disease. Mr Edwards' artwork has taken him to many exotic places. He's had an exhibition at the Australian Consulate in New York and has collected prints from hyena, elephants and bush pigs in Africa. 
The TAFE teacher and author is now in training for a trip to the Himalayas, where he hopes to collect some yak prints and produce what he believes will be the highest painting on the planet. If his work sells, he'll donate some money to the Fred Hollows Foundation and a clean-up of Everest Base Camp. There's many things that I need to overcome. My own fitness is one, uh, being able to work at high altitudes, how windy it's going to be, there's a lot of problems to resolve, but I'm very determined. And what about the, the yaks themselves? How cooperative are you expecting them to be? Um, I think they're going to be pretty good, although I might have to push them, so that's why I need the fitness to push a great big yak across the canvas. I don't think that's going to be a problem. The few people that I've spoken to who have already been there said they're, they're pretty good. You have to be careful, of course, because they've got great big horns, and depends on where you do it, it can be quite dangerous. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of investigations before I start. An exhibition of Wayne Edwards' work has just been held at Hobart's Masterpiece at IXL Gallery and he'll hold another exhibition at Tirana's Tasmanian Devil Conservation Park in November.